Hello everyone. Today I wanted to do my 2018 mid-year book freakout tag. So there's a series of questions kind of to review the first part of the year. Um, so yeah, let's get going. So the first question is the best book you've read so far uh, this year. For me, that is My Plain Jane. I was able to get an arc of it and I love this book. Um, it's a retelling of Jane Eyre by Cynthia Han, Bodie Ashton, and Jody Meadows. And I'm very picky with like retellings, especially of classic books that I like. And this one was hilarious and they just write so well and uh, yeah, I loved it. Five out of five stars. So this is my uh, first, my the best book I've read so far. I will probably be getting more than one copy of this book because I like it so much. So there's that. Uh, best sequel you've read so far this year. And the best sequel, it's actually the last book in a trilogy. And it is Obsidio. Uh, this is the third book in the Illuminate Files series and by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. It was so good, very good conclusion to the series. I was able to get signed, so that was really cool. Um, it's a sci-fi series and it's told through multimedia, like by text. There's even like a, there's a thing of notes, um, emails. There's even like a little graphic novel, little section. Um, so it's a very unique series and just really well, just the story, the story just sucks you in. So uh, this one was really good. Uh, the next one, new release you haven't read yet, but want to. So I've actually gone to quite a bit of um, book launches, book tours uh, this past couple months. I haven't made any videos of them just because there was a lot and didn't quite have time for that. But one that I really, really am excited to read is Legendary by Stephanie Garber. I was also able to get it signed. And uh, this is the second book in her um, kind of Caraval series. I think there's going to be one more, so which is exciting. And it's a story of two sisters who go to this kind of like magical place and um, the continuing adventures of the sisters in this uh, story. So very excited to read that one. Uh, the most anticipated released for the second half of the the second half of the year. So my most anticipated release is probably uh, Wild Card by Marie Lu. Uh, it's a sci-fi story where these people play a video game and just it's just really good. You will probably heard about me talk about it in. Uh, another video, but yeah. Um, biggest disappointment this year. So I don't have the book with me because I read it on audio, but my biggest disappointment was 99 Days by Katie Kadekno. I'd heard a lot of good stuff about Katie Kadekno, and I wanted to read one of her books, expecting it to be like this cute contemporary stories. I actually didn't like the heroine, and she just got on my nerves and just made a lot of decisions that I thought were not that good. So it just made me not want to read any more of Katie Kadekno's books. <laughs> Biggest surprise of this year. I would have to say it is The Royals by uh, Rachel Hawkins. Uh, this is a story about a girl. Her name is Daisy. And she, her sister is getting married to the prince, uh, the crown prince of Scotland. So she's getting pulled into all the royal stuff. And um, she meets like these charming young men. And uh, yeah, it, uh, 
I read it around the time with the royal wedding, so I was like, oh, yay, royal wedding. But uh, it was it was more cute and more fun uh, read than I thought. Newest favorite characters. Uh, there are so many characters, uh, books that have come out that have been good. Um, I've been reading a lot of contemporary stories recently, so there's just lots of uh, fun characters there. I find myself this year, though, just going back to characters that, and sequels from books I've read last year. So like, um, the Sabah Tahir, uh, stories. I really want to, like, find out what happens with them. I got the book, haven't been able to start the Reaper at the Gates. Um, so yeah, so none that really stand out to me, because I could find myself going back to the characters of stories and series that I read last year. Um, books that made you cry. I don't really cry in books. I was trying to think of a book that maybe had like a sad scene in it, but I couldn't. So, yeah. A book that made you happy. And I'm gonna have to go with My Plain Jane again. Um, there are certain books that get just so much hype that you're like, oh, I might not like it. But this one, I think I even like better than My Lady Jane. So, this one just made me happy. The way Geek Girl made me happy last year. So, there's that one. Favorite book to movie adaptation you saw this year? So, I don't think I've seen that many book to adaptations. I didn't get a chance to see Ready Player One um, yet. I think I wanted to see that one. Um, the only one I did get a chance to see was HBO did a movie on Fahrenheit 451, and uh, I was able to see that. It did not get a lot of good reviews, but I actually enjoyed it. Uh, so, I'll just say Fahrenheit 451. Uh, favorite review you've written this year? So, I think last year I did, like, my favorite, uh, video that I've done so far this year. I actually really liked when I did, um, sorting book characters into Hogwarts houses. So, that one was a really fun video for me to do. So, I will actually link that down below. Um, most beautiful book I've got this year. Fatal Throne. Uh, this is a kind of a stories of uh, Henry VIII's wives, and uh, several YA authors each took a, one of the wives and wrote, wrote about them. So I'm super excited to uh, read this one. So I actually realized that I uh, skipped a couple uh, uh, questions. Um, number seven. Favorite new author? So, uh, Alexa Dunn, Brightly Burning. This is a retelling of Jane Eyre, but set in space. And the reason why I like this one so much is because she really captured the characters of Jane Eyre. So I just really, 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 really like that. Um, yeah, this, she is, this is her debut uh, novel, and I think her next one will be a retelling of uh, Persuasion. So, yeah, I'm super excited about that one. And then, newest fictional crush, uh, number eight. I think I skipped um, from six to nine. So, number eight, newest fictional crush. I would have to say it's from the Royals, Miles. He's um, one of the... Uh, Prince's friends who is a uh, is a in love interest for Daisy, but I yeah I, I fell in love with him because he just I just liked his character. He was funny, um, loyal, yeah. So Miles from the Royals. And the last question was, what books do you need to read by the end of the year? So, there's a lot of books that I want to finish by the end of the year. Um, there's, like, 
War and Peace. I only got like a couple of chapters in there. Um, I definitely want to finish Fatal Throne um, because it's a subject I like and it's a book that I'm excited to read. So I want to read Fatal Throne. I want to finish um, uh, War and Peace. There's a couple arcs that I've got that I definitely want to finish before um, the books come out so I can give a review on that. So those are the books, the mid-year freakout tag. Uh, hope you enjoyed. Uh, so yeah, if you uh, did a mid-year uh, freakout tag, let me know what uh, one of the best books that you've read this year um, in the comments below. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, like and subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks. Bye.